Arizona, the desert. My first skate video was a uh, flip, sorry. No, like Alex Charmers for sure, and like Mark Alpiar too, I like his, his part. And uh, yeah, I don't know, that, that was my first video. Alex Chalmers for sure, but honestly, like when I was, once I like figured out, like, you know, like there's this whole another realm of skateboarding, like not just uh, one video, that flip video. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's so much other shit. I think that like probably Bob Bernquist was like the one super inspo for me. My brother was the one that would watch all the skate videos. I was the one that whenever a skate video would be, would be playing, I would be like, why don't we just go out and skate? Dude, we literally got back from a trip <clears throat> going into the Weed Maps office. Eric, the team manager at the time, is like driving in. He's like, how come there's nobody here? This is so weird. And then he goes inside and comes back out. He's like, you guys, I don't think, uh, I don't think we have a job anymore. <laughs> Tommy Sandoval is the best skateboarder ever still and the best human but he's like just charges everything and just like does it all within like three tries and he's just he's the, he's the best 15 to 20 minute tracks 15 to 20 minute songs that don't have an insane build up and or an insane drop it's just more of just like a steady beat and then it like slightly goes up and then it'll slightly go down Chemical Brothers, first of all. After that, uh, Orbital, that's old, that's like from the 90s, that's like super sick. And then like this dude, Sian, S-I-A-N, he's new, he's fucking sick. Here, they do have desert raves. Once you're popping out here, everyone just goes and sets up a speaker out in the desert. No, definitely skating. But that fucking mouth harp will catch your lip or your tongue sometimes and like I won't even notice. It's just like a little thing and I'll just keep playing and all of a sudden I'll just be like bleeding. I'll be like, shit. The hardest part, honestly, the second kickflip melon that I did, that one took like 30 tries or something. Like, and I've like, I've done that before, like, I don't know, five, give or take five times, you know? It's like 6.30 in the morning. I'm like, my eyes are like this, just like, uh. And that one was rough. And then the very last one at PV Park, that's a trick in itself as well. Kickflip Stale and Melon are like pretty similar to me. Kickflip Melon's a little easier, but I was like, oh, okay, I'll try to do this one. And uh, yeah, by that time, it was like 9.20 or something. The lights shut off at, at, at 10 o'clock there. So I knew I only had like, whatever, that 30 minute window pretty much. The driving was, we mapped it out. The park opened at six o'clock, and then so six o'clock to 10 o'clock, and then every skate park was a, a less than 30 minutes away from each other, but it would equal out to eight hours of driving. With that, I could spend no longer than 20 minutes at a skate park at a time. And I already wasted time on the uh, on the second one because I was there for like 40 minutes or something. It, by the time I was done and I wanted a beer, I drank like two beers and just was dusted. Uh, I don't think I don't think I skated for like four day, four or five, maybe a week, dude. Here is my garden. These are the beds. They're a little empty right now because they're just harvesting some stuff. But we have peppers, jalapeno, broccoli, some Thai basil. This one is a, another pepper. A peppercini. Ding Dong's Dino Kill. This is a mustard green. Um, I really like the taste of that. So these ones, these guys are coming in nicely. So I'm gonna pull this little beat out. Just a little guy. We got carrots right here. Oh, this one should be good. Pull the carrot out. Just a little guy. My greenhouse right here. I'm just redoing it. Gonna put some tarp on the edges over there. But this is a mango. It's going to flower. Uh, Barbados cherry, some bananas. This is a strawberry tree. A little banana tree that I put over here. Peach tree. These guys are, are getting there. 
avocado, cherry tree, the little dragon fruit I, I put underneath there to like crawl up, pomegranate, some more bananas that I need to put in the greenhouse, goji berry. So these things actually grow native in AZ. You can go, in, like the Phoenix area actually, you can go find goji berries everywhere. Nectarines. So this is probably my favorite tree that I have just because it produces like such delicious fruit. I can't even tell you how good it is. Orange tree, dwarf peach, some pineapples, Fiji apple, lime tree, and I just put watermelon in here and pumpkin. Beeps and beers, baby. They take a stick, the little small end, and they burn you. They put five holes in you, and they take the frog's secretion off of its back and put it on another stick. Take the stick, rub it on the uh, on the holes, on the burns. You just purge everything out. You throw up, you shit, and you keep throwing up. The total de it's a total detoxification. So what it is is. In an hour's time, you detoxify the same as if you were to do like a 10 day juice cleanse. After I was done, I felt like, I felt like I took like a 10 year nap and just woke up and my body was just like, like ready to go. Do you, if you remember that front 360 that I, that I did off that wavy roof, I did that maybe like four or five after four or five hours after I was done with that combo. I knew it was so sick that I found someone here in Phoenix and we did it in my backyard underneath my nectarine tree. We were born with no clothes on, like. Yeah, I love being naked. It feels good. I will tell you exactly why I bought that piece of shit, <laughs> big money waste BMW because it was sitting on the corner of 28th Street Sweetwater, literally right there, and I was in desperate need of a car. And it was four grand, and I was like, fuck this, I need a car right now. And yes, I was sketched out to drive because at age 16, right when I could drive, my dad put me in uh, his truck that was a stick shift, it's a manual truck, and tried to teach me to drive a manual truck on Cave Creek Road, which is the busiest road. He was just one that was like, if you can drive stick, you can drive any car. Could I do this right now? God damn it. All right, here we go, roof jump. There you go. Oh God, I'll send you off with this guy. <laughs>